Hey everybody, Chachi Bo Binks here, in case you didn't get that from all the other places where it says that this is Chachi Bo Binks prior to me introducing myself. I like redundancy, what about you? Today we're going to be playing a little bit more Long Live the Queen. Um, you know, I really enjoyed the last session, even though I didn't actually understand half of what I was doing. Uh, but I, I did some looking into some things, and I got some great advice from some of my friends who have also played this game. And at the end of the day, I decided, fuck the system. I am just going to see how fast I can get her killed. Because that seems like a lot more fun than actually trying to balance her stats and her moods and stuff. So, <laughs> this is going to be a hot mess, and I love it. I'm all about hot messes, y'all. So, let's, let's see what kind of trouble I can cause today. Oh, alrighty. Look at her skills. What is she doing good in? Damn, this girl really wants to dance. Look at this. And she's really into the lore. But I think... No, I'm capped out on those. Crap, that's right. I forgot. Um, that's why I shouldn't sleep between gameplay sessions. Because I totally forgot what I was doing. <sighs> we can work on her reflexes some... And maybe her divination, because we're gonna go magical. Again, fuck the system. Let's see. We'll do reflexes, and we'll do divination. Oh my. You practice running at high speed, back and forth over a small area, making quick turns and changes in direction. You practice tennis against multiple opponents, learning to judge at a glance when the ball is too far away to reach in time. I'm getting good at this. Sweet. And now I can't do more in reflexes until I get caught up. Yay! Um, dropping your favorite plate is bad luck. A statue spontaneously shattering is a bad omen. Well, do you really have to take a class to know that? I'm pretty sure that if a, if a statue spontaneously shattered, something is wrong in the world. <laughs> I don't think that's a sign of things being, oh, maybe okay, maybe all right. I, I don't know. I, I guess I just haven't had a lot of statues spontaneously explode around me, so maybe my judgment's just a little bit skewed. Um, let's see, you read about well-known signs of bad fortune, wells turning sour, dry lightning, strange fish caught in nets, malformed babies being born, and so on. <laughs> Do I have to go to class to know that those are bad things? <laughs> I don't know. Um, oh my, who is this? Banyan, Duke of Marley. Earl of Serenitatis. Your Highness, my sympathies for your loss. What am I giving him? Like, anyway. Um, even after all these years, I sometimes forget that my own mother will never be coming back. You know what? Let's just, let's just pause here for a second and talk about this. She's lost her mom. She's obviously struggling a lot. And this jackass wants to roll in and be like, let's talk about me and my feel. Fuck you, Banian. Thank you. However, I must call for your aid. The Einzeit occupation of the country of Imbrium has gone on for too long. Now is the time to push back. Oh, I passed or failed another test. Imagine that. <laughs> I know there's been some problems with Eisen. I don't know. Um, but I don't know the details. I guess they're occupying Southern Mari. I don't know anything about the military. I don't want to fight. <laughs> nope. <laughs> there must be a peaceful way to settle this. I will send for diplomats from Aizion and try to come to some arrangement. Uh-oh. What did I do? Thank you, Your Highness. Your Highness, if I may ask... That necklace you're wearing, where did it come from? Uh-oh, is he about to get JJ? It was a gift from the Duke of Sedna. Then you've made arrangements with him? 
Um, what sort of arrangements? Does he think I'm engaged or something? <gasps> Ooh, your highness, that is a courting gift. The man wishes to gain your hand in marriage. I'm like 14, right? Do I need to remind this, like, remind them of this fact? Because I'm pretty sure I'm way too young for anyone to be courting me. Plus, I'm Elodie, and I'm gonna grow up to be a strong, independent woman that don't need no man. Oh, I didn't realize. Sure as fuck didn't. Let's see, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Oh my god. <laughs> you try to talk your way past the treasury guards, but despite eyelash fluttering, foot stomping, and outright threats, they won't budge. Humph. <laughs> How are we doing? Oh, okay. I think I see what I need to do here. Okay. like some crazy bonuses here. Look at this. There we go. You learn to relax and evaluate the tension in your body, then to practice the different types of motion available to each of your joints, twisting, shifting, and rotating. You practice circling your arms and making kicking motions with your legs to stretch out your limbs. Well, okay. You read about signs that have presaged famous disasters, or presaged famous um, disasters, such as the sea turning red before the doom shadow fell upon Nova 200 years ago. You read about King Lat Latimer? Latimer, and how he knew he was destined for greatness when he saw the shape of a crown in a spider's web. Okay. The representative from Izion is here. Be careful. No one wants to give up prizes that they have won. Oh. Okay. Alright, Dad. You have full support from my sister and myself, Your Highness. I don't want your support, because I don't like you. Or her. Huff, let's get this over with. <laughs> your Royal Highness, thank you for granting me this audience. I am sure we can come to an amicable agreement. Why doesn't he have a picture? I want to know what he looks like so I can hate on him appropriately. Let bygones be bygones, no? We will forget about your unprovoked attacks on us, and you will transfer the rights to this little province. Oh, he is bossy, is he? You can't be good neighbors if you're being an asshole. Let me just tell you that much. We can be good neighbors again without any lives being lost. Like, I need to do some studying on stuff. <sighs> Why not? You're trespassing on our lands. You will withdraw your troops at once. Only then will we have peace. Uh-oh. YOLO? My soldiers are poised to destroy you. Withdraw now! This is not gonna end well. Then I'm very sorry we are not able to come to an agreement. I guess now we have to fight. Yeah, I guess so. Well, alright. Ooh, I'm looking a little bit spunkier right now. What changed? This apparently does me some good. Uh, 
Okay, I think maybe we need to start learning something about the world <laughs> because we are doing so bad. So we're gonna do some military and intrigue. The current Duke of Sedna is 26 years old and unmarried. He might be considered good marriage prospect for you if you desire stronger ties with the domain of Talas. Talasi, whatever. We're gonna call it Talas. I like that better. You study the strengths and weaknesses of different weapons in battle formations. I hope she's as bored as I am just reading that. Hmm. You receive a report on the outcome of the battle against the Ice and Knights. You succeed in driving them out of Mari, but it costs you almost a full battalion of soldiers and a great deal of material. Well, that sucks. Holy shit, I lost 967 soldiers? That's a lot. The Duke of Marie will be happy, but we could have done better. Yeah, we could have, I guess. Hmm. Uh oh. Um, you also receive a letter informing you that Helrist, Duke of Sedna, will be arriving for an official visit next week. Cool. I like it. Let's do it. Apparently, tennis is really good for me. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Ooh, look! Finally! Maybe we'll go to a ball and get this up one. Why not, right? <laughs> the domain of Shangia across the sea to the west has been steadily increasing in size and now controls a wide range of coastline as well as most of the navigable rivers. The political disruption in Tambula in the recent years has caused a, a disruption in their chocolate production, uh oh, which is to the benefit of Nova, particularly the Duchy of Kiko. I don't understand how anyone having like a disruption in chocolate production would be beneficial to anybody at all. Are we being serious here? Like all the chocolate. We need all of it. This is ridiculous. We need to go help them. <laughs> Get more chocolate. Maybe if we help them and we like send troops over to do whatever the hell they need, um, they'll reward us in chocolate and that would be really awesome. I'm just saying. This is why I need to be queen. Forget Elodie being queen. Make it, make it chachi. You study the effects of battle stress on troops and how morale can turn this tide of combat. You study military recruitment and the importance of training and motivation in making soldiers who can trust and depend on each other, which is very important. Oh, he's kind of cute. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's hitting on me, too. I'm only 14. Remember this, Talarist. Ah, oh, your highness, what a pleasure it is to meet you in person at last. Your description did not do you justice. Oh, do go on. I'm chin's handing right now. Chin hands. <laughs> I don't know how to deal with handsome older men paying me compliments. Well... It's probably a good thing, because he's a little bit too old to be hitting on you, sweetheart. It's okay. I was so pleased to hear that you had accepted my humble offering. A jewel for a jewel. But you are more precious. Okay, he's got good lines, though. He does. Again, 14. But Chachi's appreciating the lines. I hope that this is only the beginning of a mutually beneficial relationship. A union between us would bring stability to both our peoples. Okay. Oh, <laughs> look! This is not the happy face. This is the oh shit face. He really does want to marry me. Oh no! Hmm. What do we want to do? 
Do we want to accept his offer or politely decline? Um, at this point, I mean, the other dude might be like an option, but again, he was the asshole who's all, I'm sorry, your mom died, let's talk about me. And I don't appreciate that. Um, and besides, this guy is really kind of hot um, in like the, the Bishonen way. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, so I kind of appreciate that. You know what? Let's do it. And feel free to go into the comments and tell me how wrong this was. Whatevs. I would be honored. Energy! <laughs> Your grace, are you not aware that my daughter has only 14 summers? Thank you! Some logic! Some logic! Thanks, Dad. Because she's way too damn young for this. It's my decision. Well, it's Chachi's actually, but okay. A betrothal only, of course. There's no need to hurry. You have your coronation to plan after all. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's true. If I might be of service in any way, please send for me. I will happily, or I will be happy to offer my protection or advice. Aww. I'm gonna need it, because I get the feeling I'm gonna get killed sometime very soon. Do -do -do. <laughs> it's okay, Dadsies. It's fine. We'll just get married and live forever happy. It's fine. It's fine. I'm way too young for this shit. Why are you making me queen anyway? Yeah, can we just, like, maybe pause for a second to discuss another thing here? Um, so Dadsy doll, she's only 14 summers. Um, and obviously not so cool with the idea, the idea of me getting engaged. But ruling the country? Tote school, man. Tote school to rule the country when you're only 14. I think somebody's priorities are just a little wrong. Now, mind you, I don't know how, like, the monarchy works in this land, and I don't know if, like, because he's not married, he's required to pass it on to a preteen, um, but I just can't see that logically working out. Um, anyway, all, all I'm saying is that, um, I don't understand why Dad would be so hesitant to a betrothal, but absolutely behind LSD ruling the entire country. <laughs> like, alone? Um, maybe her marrying and- oh, I don't even want to go there, because she's 14. She doesn't need to be marrying anybody. I'm just saying, though. Can we- can we consider that for a moment? Thank you. Let's have a ball! You attend a formal ball, which gives you the chance to interact with the nobility in a less stressful environment. I totally want to go to balls. I wish I was a princess just so I could... What did I do? Oh, I hit the wrong button. Sorry. And there we are, Elodie, looking spunky as usual. Let's see how our mood is now. Oh my. Yay! I like this. I like that since I quit giving a damn, <laughs> suddenly our mood has improved so much. <laughs> That's sad. It makes me feel really bad about myself, actually. I'll cry later off cam. Okay. Yeah, she. What do we want to work on now? Um. You know what? We're gonna just try to cap these out because she really needs to know more about foreign intelligence and strategy. So, let's do it. Since their recent revolution, the Tumbolians have twice begun gathering troops on the Nover on the Novin border. I can't pronounce words. Words, words, words. Both times their camps were struck by fierce storms and earthquakes, and they decided to give up on the idea. Kinda sounds magical, don't you think? You learn about how units reinforce each other in the field, gaining strength. Um, through proximity and the covering of weaknesses. Makes sense. Aww, I'm gonna go visit our soldiers in the barracks. That sounds like fun. You are requested to stand in judgment. A woman has been convicted of attempted murder and the request of the mercy of the crown. Guest dance. Oh my, who is this? 
Your Highness, this latter dares to beg pardon when she admits that she tried to poison my sister under her own roof. I, he's good looking. Is he an option to marry? I can go for like, again, 14. Maybe here in four years, when I'm a little bit older, I would go for someone who looks like this. He kind of makes me think of, um, oh God, what was his name? Ryu in Fruits Basket? Hey, yeah. Which sister? Kursandi, the Duchess of Mead. Is she all right? Oh God, she no. <laughs> she is unharmed. We caught the culprit in the kitchens before anyone could eat her foul spew. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? It's just as it is. Them devils killed me brother and broke me mom's heart. Lie to her, they did. When she went to see why he'd not come back, he said he'd go in for a soldier when he never would. Oh, okay. He weren't the only one, neither. I waited ten years for my chance to get my own back. That's justice. You see, she's completely unrepentant. Hang her and be done with it. Boy, you don't tell me what to do, though. I understand and I respect your opinions, but it's not, it's not okay. No. I don't know what this is about. I either hate murder or serious crime. I really don't know what this is about, so I'm kind of glad that Elodie is feeling my feels here because I don't, I don't get it. Um, we're just going to put her in prison for now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Keep hitting the the rolly scrolly thing in my mouse, and it's wrecking my world here. So we'll imprison her. Um, you have tried to murder a noble of my domain, and I have no reason to believe you wouldn't do it again. You will be in prison for the rest of your life. You not have me. All of a sudden, she breaks loose from her guards and rushes at me. Oh shit! In your court dress, you are unarmed. You grope for a weapon and find only a heavy golden ornament, which you hurl in her direction. Uh, your missile flies wide of its mark. Before you had the chance to do anything else, your personal guards step in action, cutting the woman down before she can endanger you. Her lifeless body, body lies bleeding on your carpet. <laughs> Clean that up. <laughs> Good reaction, girl. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, let's go to the barracks. You were impressed by the discipline of the Novan troops, but the responsibility for their lives weighs heavily on your soldiers. Yeah, because I just got almost a thousand of them killed. Whoops. There are approximately nine battalions and two platoons under your direct command. Cool. We need to get a little bit less. No, we're cool. We're cool with being angry. It's fine. Dun, 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 dun. Pirates are once again operating out of Orcus, although they are currently sticking to the Northwest Seas and no threat to Nova. However, if they turn to slave raids, the Borealans may be quite vulnerable. You study the effects of different kinds of battle terrain for both offensive and defensive. Cool. Yay! I like capping out skills. As you're walking one day in the gardens, you hear a strange sound, and you look up to see an owl flying overhead. A single dry leaf flutters in its talons. Uh-oh. An owl flying in the open in the raw daylight. That's unusual. I wonder if something attacked it. That's right, because I'm a falconer. When you return to the castle, your father is waiting for you. There are reports that a keythrong has been slighted leaving, leaving the old forest. I just slaughtered that sentence, didn't I? A keythrong? I don't know what that is. Oh well. Oh, neither does she! Oh good! What's a keythrong? <laughs> a beast with the body of an enormous golden cat, a sharp beak and spa uh, spikes on his back. Hey, that sounds awful. Several disappearances in the southern Caloris are already thought to be the work of this creature. 
What should we do? Should we send hunters? The traditional policy to stray beasts is to hope that they return to the forest and stay there. That's really effective. Like, we're just gonna close our eyes and, like, put our hands over our faces and be like, la la la, maybe it'll go away on its own. No. Hunters are no match for such creatures. You would only make it angry and waste more lives. I feel like that's a shot. So, we just let it eat people? Everyone dies in the end! That's awful! <laughs> Thanks, dads! We're gonna just go visit one. You pay your respects to your mother's tomb and wonder if the same fate is waiting for you. I hope not. That would suck. Let's do internal affairs and logistics. Until you have children of your own, your maternal uncle, the Duke of Mer Merva, is next in line for the crown, and after him would be his daughter, your cousin, Charlotte. Oh, so I'm not next in line. I thought I was. Okay. Um, you learn about the types and amounts of food required for an army on the march, and how long they will remain edible. Okay. Remember that the festival of good ladies approaching. There will be a public celebration, or there will be public celebrations for the commoners, followed by a grand gala for the nobility. As queen, you would be expected to lead the procession and take part in the ceremony, ceremonial planting, possibly give a speech. However, since you are not yet crowned, it is not required, and it may not be safe to expose you to the public. It's probably a good idea, because last time I, I checked, this game's all about me dying, so... What do you mean, not safe? Outside of the castle, you are less well protected. If anyone means you harm, think on it now. Decide later. There's a letter for you as well. It's from Brioni. I went to school with her. But she's a couple years older than me. Her mother is the Duchess of Mead. Cool. She's complaining that her mother still won't let her come home for the holidays. Aww. Apparently, her uncle, Kevin, has been acting strangely lately and shouting at shadows. She's bored and looking for an adventure. Well, I don't have any to suggest to her. Tough nugs, yo. Yay, a walk in the fresh air helps you to forget the burdens on your shoulders. Whoops. Okay, I think I've got time for one more before I need to uh, end this. So let's see how we're feeling. Feeling good. We can continue what we've been working on. Let's do it. Your maternal uncle's wife, the Countess Nix, claims kinship to the old Merva line and originally asked your mother for the title to the duchy. However, no one could verify her lineage. As a compromise, your mother created her brother, Duke of Merva. Um, the last Duke of Mead was the older half-brother of the current duchess. His reign was brief and highly scandalous. He defied tradition uh, to pledge himself as the life mate of the old Duke of Ursel, then broke that off only a year later. He retired into seclusion and died still unwed. You study the kinds of equipment that soldiers need available, such as bedding, weapons, armor, medicine, bandages, and the tools to repair anything damaged. You study different types of transport, animals, wagons, sledges, ships, boats, and boots. Today is the procession, the planting for the festival of the good lady. Will you be leading the parades? Hell no. Um, if you have any concerns about your safety, please stay here. The people will recover from disappointment. If we lose you, there is no recovery. 
Uh, no, I guess I'd rather stay here. Aww, you watch the procession from your tower window, feeling safe but lonely. Suddenly, you hear someone moving around inside your room. You turn in surprise, but it's only a maid. My lady, what are you? Should you not be in the procession? It's a major festival, but there are other ways to celebrate. Okay. I can't go outside. There might be assassins. Oh. Oh, she seems really sympathetic. <laughs> oh, I guess it would suck if you died, wouldn't it? Um, let's see. What do I want to do? You can sneak a peek at some of the luckless peasants held in the dungeons. Petty thieves and troublemakers, now suffering in the dark. They're obviously bad people, but seeing them so miserable still feels unfair. There must be a better way. Cool. Alright, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut this off here because we're just at a little bit over 30 minutes. So, um, thank you so much for watching me. Hopefully not screw things up too badly. I kind of thought I was going to die in this session. So, I'm really happy that there is going to be a, um, obviously, a, a third 30 minute session. Um, or maybe I'll just die right off the bat next time. I don't know. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for joining me. If you like what you saw, feel free to leave comments. Um, if you have suggestions or tips on the game, uh, let me know that as well. Or better yet, if there's other games you'd like to see me play and, um, and, and you want to hear me talk to myself for 30 minutes longer doing something else, um, let me know that too. This is a lot of fun for me, even though I am talking to myself. Um, you know what? The, the more I think about it, the crazier that sounds. So maybe I'll just stop there. Bye.